Hello guys and welcome to another video. In this video I'll be showing you how you can create this cool funky animation in Blender. So uh, if you are new to this channel make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notifications icon to stay updated on all my new videos as soon as I post them. So without any further ado let's get started. So to create this animation first head over to mixamo.com and then log in with your mail id or your game create a new account so now go to the characters tab and here I have this character you can pretty much select any character you wish I'm selecting this character it's called ch45 underscore non pbr okay you can pretty much select any any character you like okay now once you're satisfied with your character now head over to the animations tab now we can select an animation i'm going to select a dance here you can have a list of animation channel and select dance now just search for a dance that you like so i'm gonna select So I like this samba dances, okay? So I'm gonna select this one. And it may take some time. And see, you know, we can see it. So just click on download, and the default will be okay. And just click on download. Now take a few seconds, and it will be starting the download in your Chrome. I'm using Google Chrome here. Now once it gets downloaded. So you're starting to download. Once it gets downloaded, you can start a blender and then you can just start a blender and then open the FPX file. I'm going to import and select FPX and FPX. I'm gonna go to my I'm saving my download, so I'm gonna go to my downloads folder. And then open the samba dancing fpx and then click on import fpx see it may take a few seconds to load in once uh, the file loads up it's going to look something like that so i'm going to just delete the default cube uh, x and enter and then uh, also deleting the light and uh, also the camera so I just turn on my screencast keys that so that you guys can see it okay okay so i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click on one to go to my friend view just zoom this guy in and position my camera now click on one to go to friend view i'm gonna just add a camera shift a camera and press ctrl alt and o to lock the camera to view with the camera selected i'm gonna go to the camera settings and then change the focal length to an 80 m camera okay and uh, now what I'm going to do is pull down the middle mouse wheel and just drag, sorry, the camera, with the camera selected. G, press G, and then with the central mouse wheel, I'm going to just going to scroll until you get something out there. I'm just going to press G and position the camera somewhere like that, that's going to look good. Okay, now we got something like that. Now what I'm going to do is go to the other uh, scene settings and then enable ambient occlusion, zoom, screen size reflections, motion blur, and uh, that's it. Okay. Now, now if you play the animation, see, we can see that performing well. Let's go to a rendered view, and if you see, this has a default material. We don't need it. We go to the materials tab, click on the minus button to remove the material, and then add a new material. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna Bring this a bit more to the top. I'm gonna change this to a shape right there. And go new to add new material. We have one G and move this guy right there. Just gonna zoom this so you can, guys can see it. Okay. Just gonna zoom this guy in. I'm just gonna delete the default principle PSG if we don't need it. I'm gonna add an emission shader. Emission shader. 
or something like that. I'm just gonna add a color ramp. Oh, sorry. So, shift A, converter, color ramp, okay. Now I'm gonna add a wave texture, search for a wave texture, something like that. For the wave texture, if you have enable the no prior error add on, with no with wave texture selected, we want control T and that will add a mapping node and a texture coordinated node. So plug the object to the vector, vector to the vector, and the color of wave texture to the factor of the color ramp, and the color of the color ramp to the color of the emission and the emission to the surface. Maybe have something like that. Now what you have to do is the color ramp changes to linear to constant. See? Now we can just add some random colors there. I'm gonna select this black and I'm gonna change this to a magenta or something called like this a pinkish color. I'm gonna select the white and I'm gonna change this to blue. And I'm gonna add a central point in between that and I'm gonna change this to a green. I guess I'm around that. Okay. Now I'm gonna just move this guys. The first one I'm gonna position it at 0.333. It's roughly one third. And I'm gonna position this one. Uh, I'm gonna position this blue one at 0.6. Sorry. Uh, at 0.666. That gives us with something like that. So now what I'm going to do is decrease the scale to a value around 0.1. Okay. And we'll give us something like that. Now what you can do is just increase the distortions to get something, and then also increase the detail. Okay. You don't need details. I need to be zero. And again, just to replay the detail scale, I'm just gonna keep it at 0.3. I don't know, 0.3. Yeah, one detail scale of one is really good. Okay, something like that. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to the mapping node and I'm just gonna bring my timeline here as well. Change this to a uh, timeline. So I'm just going to some things and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the mapping node and the subtraction C. Now if you move the C, you can see that it's working, see? Okay, I'm going to set this to zero. At the beginning of the frame, just go to the beginning of the frame and just come up to the zero frame so you get, you are having a next round frame. And I'm going to go to the rotation in mapping tab and I'm pick I to insert a keyframe. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to thousand frame. Okay, just gonna go to thousand frame by clicking this button. And in the Z, I'm gonna type 360 times 10. Or 10 times 360, that's it. Yeah, wish. Okay, oh, so it's gonna rotate 360 degrees for every 100 frames. See? Okay, I'm just gonna press enter. Okay. Now if we just play the animation, see, that's what's gonna happen. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm just, I'm just go to the animation node and just pump up the strength. Just gonna put the strength at around six, and then eight. So I think eight is good. And it's gonna give the strength at eight. And that's pretty much it for the first part. Now what we have to do is we can just close this up. I'm just gonna close this. We have the timeline. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn this one out. I'm just gonna add a plane. Shift A to add a plane. I'm gonna click S yes and scale this a bit much. Now the selector. I'm gonna click Tab to go to Edit Mode. I'm just gonna go to it, select, selecting this. I'm gonna shift and selecting this. And e and Z and extruding this along Z axis. I tab out of it mode with the select and press control 3 to add a subdivision surface modifier with three subdivisions. I'm gonna select this. 
press S and to Y and scale it along Y axis. And now we want to go to front view. S, X and scale it along X axis as well. Press G and G and bring it a bit down somewhere around there. Okay. We want to go to camera view. Okay, now with the, uh, the lens selector, go to materials tab and add a new material. Change the base color to black. Please go to a dark black right there. Uh, now, in the roughness, bring the roughness all the way up to one. Okay. Now that's pretty much it, guys. Now all you have to do is render this out. It's gonna adjust the camera a bit as well. Just G and just adjust the camera okay, somewhere else. Right? Now what you can do is I'm going to the output settings and just quickly show up how to render this guys out as well. Go to the output settings, select a folder, I'm gonna select desktop, desktop, and accept. Okay, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna select the file format to FF impact video and go to the encoding section and change this microscope to mpac4 and video codec and the output quality to very high uh, high quality and recording speed that's all the same we have no audio and that's pretty much it and then just go to the render engine maybe there's an asset uh, let's go to render and click on render animation that's pretty much it so if you like the video make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video and leave a comment on what you guys think about the video and other videos that you suggest and keep supporting me guys